Hey, what's up, witches? It's Luna here with a chart reading for the new moon on October 6th, 2021. The exact aspect happens at 7.05 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. If you are not in the Eastern Time Zone, adjust accordingly. So coming down in the bottom right to the elements and modes breakdown, you notice we have a, a goose egg and a near goose egg. Zero fire in this chart and very little mutable. And what you can also see is the extremely strong um, air and cardinal, which is Libra. So we have a very strong Libra chart signature here um, based in the intellect, based in the now which is kind of a good place to be during a Mercury retro. You need to be dealing with reality as it's occurring <laughs> rather than, you know, um, providing stuff from your subconscious or whatever. But a lack of fire just says that um, we're not going to be passionate. We're going to be um, approaching things with the intellect. So thinking things through before we react, but we will also be very reactive. So that signature comes from this wad of four planets in Libra. We've got the Sun-Moon conjunction, which is the new moon. And then we have Mars in Libra and Mercury in Libra. So the Libra new moon, Libra is all about the social urge. It is ruled by Venus. Venus ruling Taurus is about the material as it's an earth sign, but at ruling Libra, it is air. So it's about the niceties, how beauty occurs in the intellect and in interaction, in communication with people. Libra is that social urge that makes us want to join with people, to interact with them. Um, it is about refined taste and having an aesthetic sense. Uh, it's the sign of the diplomat and the negotiator. So negotiators can speak in ways that are non-confrontational that are pleasant and peaceful. And so you can listen and get feedback and go back and forth in communication in a very uh, pleasing social way um, and get things done as far as negotiating. So this new moon helps us to kick off anything in that realm. Um, let's look at the aspects that we have. I'm not going to look at, we've got one body here in Aries, a fire sign, but you notice it doesn't show up in the, the breakdown down here because it is not a planet. It's Chiron. And it is actually three degrees off of um, the aspect here, so I'm not going to consider that. But let's look at what we can consider. The new moon is at 13 degrees of Libra, and we have Uranus at 13 degrees of Taurus, so exact here. Uh, making an in conjunct not only to the sun and the moon but mars which is also at 13 degrees so let's add first of all let's back up a minute let's add to this new moon the oomph of mars so while libra this is it sets up a conflict because while libra is all about well what what do you want and wanting to keep the peace and listen at least as much as we talk and it's this very uh, receptive kind of thing. We throw Mars in there, which brings in aggression. It brings in passion. So even though we don't have the fire in this chart, we certainly have passion in the form of Mars um, dead on conjuncting this new moon. So we could be very vocal and very assertive, if not aggressive, at um, wanting to be social. So again, we have something that challenges us in a pandemic because we really are going to want to get out and do things with people um, to release that social urge. Uh, Mars could have us blowing past some boundaries that would not be a good thing. But let's look at this in conjunct to Uranus. So Libra is all about what do you want? What do you think? How can we come to agreement on something? Whereas Uranus rules rebellion and individuality, even to the point of eccentricity. An in conjunct brings us to an adjustment point. So we have to adjust between this new moon urge to be pleasant and social and maybe even aggressively social, but it's that, you know, that, that um, wanting to keep the peace urge here and acquiesce to what someone else wants, but then Uranus is pulling us towards uh, rebellion and our own individual expression. So we need to make adjustments here. How do I express my individuality? How do I um, rebel against the status quo 
in in a way that doesn't really confront that you know to to a detrimental degree so here's where we have the the in in conjunct and the need to adjust is how do i keep the peace how do i express myself um, in my own way and not upset and disturb the peace with that mars um yeah how do i do it without being aggressive about it is the question that this in conjunct is asking us and you're the one that's going to have to answer that for yourself let's look at another in conjunct that we have but this one is mercury even though mercury's down here and you see the aspect pointing here these are just spread out because there's so many of them in the same spot so neptune is in conjuncting um, mercury mercury in libra is all about communicating um, in a pleasing way communicating in a non-confrontational way mercury is retrograde it makes it really difficult to be clear about what we want to communicate and then you in conjunct it with Neptune and we've got a setup here for just a lot of of fogginess um, our mission here is to separate uh, our thoughts about what's really happening from what we're projecting what we're imagining Neptune has us in our imagination in our own fiction um, in our idealism not seeing things at face value and mercury here says that we need to communicate about things so the adjustment is I've, I've got to make sure that I myself am very clear about what I'm perceiving how I'm interpreting that before I come out and communicate it you know with all sorts of fantasy overlay <laughs> that's kind of um, that, that's a that's a difficult one to get a grip on I have to admit but Mercury and Libra really is about um, negotiating and clear communications and how do we work things out how do we um, how do we you know just make sure everybody's being heard everybody is is saying what they need to say that kind of stuff we also have Jupiter uh, trining that Mercury so that's a wonderful thing as well we it gives us the ability to be more um, open in communication more open to other people's ideas that are you know ruled by uranus here as jupiter's in aquarius so we are more open to listening to other people expressing their own individuality but certainly with this chart we've got a lot of adjustments to make and it's going to to require um, skill from us our listening skills our skills of um, weeding out where we're being idealistic weeding out where we are responding or reacting to past trauma where we are overlaying our own crap on top of the real-time communication so what a great thing for mercury retrograde that has us examining our own thoughts and thinking about things uh, very carefully before we open our mouths of course mars here at 13 degrees does not conjunct mercury at 20 degrees but it does conjunct the new moon and it is part of this whole libra wad so we have that true stellium in libra and we throw mercury retrograde in there as a kicker all about communication all about relationships all about how we negotiate those relationships how we navigate through them verbally um, how we set the rules getting our own needs met um, you know expressing our own individuality without uh, breaking things down too much you know without pushing against other people's boundaries um, how we open our minds and make communication all about understanding that neptune in conjunct does throw a big part a uh, bit of empathy and compassion in there as well so i think we have the ability to communicate about things here in a way that really moves things forward and really um, opens up the communication if we can tame that mars if we can stop from being too reactive uh, with this new moon energy certainly it's going to be um, you know 
there's there will be an intensity about it because we've got this wad in Libra. If you've got planets anywhere around 13 degrees of cardinal signs or air signs, um, you're really going to be feeling this. So from 11 to 15 degrees of cardinal signs or air signs, um, that will be taking a direct hit from this stellium in Libra. So. Um, and notice down at the modes how low we are in mutability. So we're going to be reactive in the now, but not a lot of ability to adapt <laughs> to other people's things. So we do have a, a kind of a tense setup here, even though we're not looking at squares and oppositions. Um, still a lot of adjustments it's going to be fly by the seat of your pants time remain open keep your ears more open than your mouth for this new moon i would say this is a very good time to really be actively listening to what other people are saying especially before you open your mouth think things through three and four times before you decide what you're actually going to say make sure what you're going to say is of the Venusian nature, which means that it's kind. Make it kind, all right? I think that's all I've got to say about this. I hope that was helpful to you. If you're finding this especially helpful, please consider sending me a donation. Even a dollar is plenty. Nothing is too small. If you really, really love what I do and would like to support me at a minimum level, go hit my Patreon link below. Just $3 a month supports the work that I'm doing here. I hope that this finds you all well and healthy and navigating this Mercury Retro to the best of your ability. Um, I will see you on Wednesday night for live stream readings. Until then, this is the Zen Witch. Please let me know what you think down below. I will see you next time. Blessed be.